for the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Holy shit. Holy. John Marston. It's good to see you. Then, congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> Hello and everyone. welcome to part 82 of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're back. John Marston is riding again. And yeah, Abigail left us. But we are gonna buy that house. But before we do that, we have this random event here. Oh, that's those guys again. Can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, Didn't like a few years go by and they're still oh, arguing about I that one girl. You can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash. No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. Hit me then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh, what the fuck is he doing that? Okay, um... Yeah. Yeah, punch. And damn. Uh, you, you broken jaw yet? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wallop you just the same. I'm fine. Oh, now you. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin. Not like that toe. That looks kind. Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, give me a hit. Right here. Ah, they okay. Apparently, they know what I'm gonna say. Okay, they. Oh. Were you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Oh yeah, and damn. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> oh, there's only one thing for it then. Oh no. Oh god. Don't worry, sir. Miner made a steed. <laughs> I doubt that. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive. Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck to you. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, we're gonna be seeing Sadie Adler right now, our good old friend. She's in the saloon every day. At least she told us that. Sounds like a boring life, but. I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Enjoy your drink in peace. She looking like a real gunslinger now. For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Holy shit! Holy. Get the hell out! Before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. <laughs> hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on then. Well, where are we headed? Strawberry. He got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, huh. I think. <laughs> Sounds easy. Oh, when she said with a pen, I thought you did like the John Wick move and stabbed everybody, but that. Well, I guess he just knew how to ride. 
You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Well, no they won't. That's exactly why we're somewhat of a good folk now, but only somewhat. Man, I mean, Sadie's horse is like, we're going to Strawberry and that's the color of her horse. I mean, coincident? I don't think so. I definitely do not think so. Well, we are here now. Now, where's that bounty? Up. I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. Okay. Yep, sure will do. Um, okay, bald, uh, hello, are you bald? Uh, nope, you are definitely not bald. Can I, uh, just, uh, question. Hey, I've been a real fool and forgot to ask my friend Nathan Kirk where he's staying. You got any idea? He's a bald feller from New York. I'm sorry, I don't know. No, oh, you're sure you don't know or I will have to threaten you. Well, let's just ask that guy. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> okay, yeah. Remember if, the bastards. if you ain't seen him, I don't care. Just let me go. Or uh, the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. See? Yep, okay. Good lord. Yep, we lost in the general store. <laughs> the one I robbed as Arthur. Hello, mister. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, I'm looking for a fella. Uh, New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the welcome center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. What the hell is the welcome center? Is that like... I don't, <laughs> I, I don't even know. That's just... Isn't that just a town hall? Wasn't that the town hall? Are you the mayor? Hotel owner. Uh, nope, it's a hotel. You seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How ex I can't move. I can't move now. I can't move. Okay. Go to Nathan Kirk's room. Yes, go, 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 go. Just get up here. Nathan Kirk, I have the execution order for you. Well, not... Oh, a cigarette cut. Oh, wait a moment. Just... Wait, hold on a second, Nathan Kirk. Um, I'm gonna kill you in a bit. Just... Okay, perfect. Artists and writers, let's just... And now, hello, Nathan Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Kick the door open. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, he's... Sadie... Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! <laughs> yep, yep, I broke my legs. Uh, come on, Buell, go, go, go! Remember, we want him alive, yep. Uh, yep, 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 we do want him alive. Okay, we shall get him alive. I know, I know, I know. I have uh, all, the all-seeing eye. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's a dick. That poor guy didn't do anything but transport some wood and he just... Yeah. 
Oh, what are you doing? Okay. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. He's really taking the scenic route. Oh, God. Um, couldn't I just... Can't I just shoot his horse? Oh, no, I won't leave you alone. He definitely won't come peaceably. He's running already. He's probably gonna, like... Oh, ooh. yes. Go get him, Sadie. Oh, Jesus. That was too close. Why are we monsters? You did rob a bank, so, uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking sheep. He, yeah, I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot his horse. Oh, he's a revolver, so he can shoot us. Nope, if you're innocent, why are you running? Uh, actually, we do. Uh, so, yeah. Just stop it or... Man, what? Can I just throw, like, some dynamite at him? Oh, yes. His horse is slowing down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We did got him. Oh, I released him. Just shut up, Sadie. What you caught there? Uh, I caught a big fish. Uh, that's definitely at least 80 kilos. I don't deserve this treatment. Nope. Nobody does. Nobody does. That, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. Take his stuff. Because he doesn't need it no more. Oh, hair tonic. Should we should we grow our beard even more? Yeah, I think we should. We should definitely grow that. Grow that shit. Okay, perfect. Pick that. Pick him up. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Um, well, Hera. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. And what about Micah? Hey. She said she had some information about Micah and... Yeah, I would like some information about Micah. We are gonna talk to Ansel Efferton and a bounty poster. Maybe we shall do that. That's one bounty that he hasn't collected yet. Okay, so let's just hope he gives us that loan. Because uh, can we buy a property with $21? Nah, nah, I'm not really sure if we can. So now we're here in Blackwater, the place where basically everything started to go wrong with the botched ferry heist. So yeah, we're gonna talk to AA. Uh, a hey, like that banker guy. I don't know his name. I always forget names. Eberof, Eberon. Me, Hello there. Can, I, can I help you? Uh, you yeah, can. I'm looking for Mr. Efferton. Efferton. Friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Sure Thank will you. do. Mr. Atherton. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes? Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, 
I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Well, that was relatively easy. I mean, apparently knowing the right people well, really gets you real far in life. If I didn't know Mr. Gettys, well, probably would have never got that loan, so... Yeah, but we need money, so I'm just gonna quickly check out that bounty poster, see if it may be somewhere we already need to go, and... Just like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Yeah, sure. Um, read that. Uh, Elias Green. Wanted. Captured dead alive. He's wanted on warrant for murder and mutilation. Oh, Jesus. Oh, of six settlers near Menzenita Men Post. Uh, he's a member of the Skinner Brothers gang and is considered extremely dangerous. As seen in the Great Plains area. Green is stocky. And wears animal skins. Bearhead and buckskin shirt. Uh, perfect. Um... Sounds like a nice fella. Sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. Yeah. Really uh, sad that is, is that Gavin? Where is Gavin? Is that that Gavin guy? He's still searching like years later. Like years after he lost is sir. that you Mister? Hello, sir? Where's Anyone that's Gavin. Howdy, mister. I'm... Jesus, I'm he's friend. looking like... Gavin. Well, the Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um... I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life. Looking, I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Gavin. Good luck. Gavin. Oh, I am oh, so worried. Gavin. Gav. What the hell? Gav. He's gone completely insane. He's been looking. Some multiple years for Gavin, and holy shit, that's actually kind of sad. But he's gone completely insane. Holy fuck, that's actually crazy. Hey, the bounty is directly on our way, basically. <laughs> well, we shall do that, and we shall do Ansel Efferton, which is basically just getting our ranch. So, yeah, yeah, your friend is dead or long gone. If you haven't found him in years, like, what have you even been doing in those years? Like, just screaming, Gavin, where are you? Day in, day out, or what? Damn, actually kind of sad. Okay, we'll check out the ranch and get that bounty probably. I tell thee, and I tell thee now, eternity waits for us all. And there's a crazy blind guy again. You want to give me some tips? You want to tell me that Voldemort is coming for me again? Can I give you some money? Blind man. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Take that. Here you go. Why am I giving him money? I don't have money. I have like you no money. Remember the past at the expense of the future. Uh, right. Okay, friend. All the best now. Well, that actually pretty much makes that makes a lot of sense. I remember the past at the cost of the future, because I'm still really like falling back into my like outlaw life. So. I am remembering the past at the cost of the future. That's actually pretty clever and it makes sense. Like everything he said made sense. Like even with the guy with no nose is coming for you, which is probably a metaphor for death. So yeah, um, yeah, we'll clear out the ranch right now. Um, oh, there are some pe that's the whole ranch. That's actually pretty pathetic, but well, uh, hello guys. Can I help you friend? Sure, you can get on my property. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy. Says he owns this land. Oh, Jesus. That's what he says. 
Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Oh God. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. There ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks oh. like you made your decision then, partner. Oh, holy hacking shit. 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 John Marston. The baddest of all baddest. Baddest says bad badass says says Yes. Are we horrible man? I don't think so. They weren't in the right. We were in the right. We were in the right. We were in the right. We did nothing wrong. Not you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. <laughs> now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. He's joking a lot. He's a real funny feller. He's almost like Fenton. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought Uncle? you were dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? <laughs> huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> but wait a moment. Does this horse... Wait, I'm just... This... That's my... No, my horse... Yeah, okay, no, what the... His horse has, like, a beard and... Real long nose hair. Yeah. I mean, I'm not discriminating any horses here, but like, you know, you know. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? <laughs> this ranch, I, a ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's. Uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? 
Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but you know this makes me think maybe oh. I was wrong. How the how does he know that this is the correct way? I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Well, that can still be arranged. There's a lot of place on this ranch. That's it. Looking nice, right? This is it. Look at her. Ain't she a beauty? Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. <laughs> well, he's still better than Mike, I guess. <laughs> he's still better than a lot of people. Uh, well, guess I a true. I am a tro I am a rock farmer. I am a. I'm. Yeah, I am John the rock farmer. That's basically what I'm doing right now. And this uncle, like, actually, is he gonna do anything, or is he just gonna sit there and drink beer? Epilogue part two. Beaches hope. How many parts are there? Well, good to see that I didn't forget how to build a fence. But it's a more modern fence, we're new using nails. Oh my god. Bank loan received $405. That's not really much, but <laughs> guess it'll work out. And now that we're this proud owner of this ranch, that's it for this. You know, sometimes I just can't talk. But that's it for this episode. Hit the like button, like the video, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment below if any recommendations for the place, I mean, general, and I can talk and have. And have a great day.